An important idea in modern mathematical physics is that algebraic operations can be classified by pictures of the physical processes they represent. So for example, in quantum mechanics, the Schrodinger picture has two basic operations. The first is time evolution, which takes in a state vector and outputs the state after evolving the system for time t. And the corresponding picture, just a line of length t, can be thought of as a picture of a particle moving through space for time t. And the second operation is a pairing which takes in two state vectors and outputs a number, the correlation between those states. The corresponding picture is a particle and an antiparticle annihilating. Of course, there's more to quantum physics than that. There's also an algebra of observables, which are operations you can apply to a state and get out a quantity, like the position of a particle in that state. So there are pictures associated with these things too. So there's, this one tells you to apply the observable A to the state B, and this one tells you to multiply two observables A and B together to get a product out. And the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which says that the order in which you do observations can affect the outcome of an experiment, is reflected in the fact that this picture corresponding to A times B does not equal this picture corresponding to B times A. Now, these pictures belong to string theory. Uh, this one depicts a string with one end attached to some membrane moving through space. And inside the membrane, that end moving around behaves as a particle in quantum mechanics. And in this picture and this picture, we see two free strings merging into one. Th the nice thing about these pictures is they open the door to describing new and interesting kinds of physical theory or algebraic structure like string theory. And all you have to do is consider more interesting surfaces or even higher dimensional shapes as the operations. These theories can be constructed geometrically. So if I fix a target space-time manifold, that is a shape of the universe, if you like, then there's a theory in which the coefficient of an operation corresponding to a surface like this or this is given by a sum or integral over instances of that surface living inside this space-time geometry. And understanding these sums or integrals is an interesting geometric problem, and there's lots of modern mathematics devoted to understanding that. Mm -hmm.